Well, good day, everybody. <clears throat> and what a stunning morning. Uh, now, today, I'm going to do something a little different. I did say I would attempt to produce a, a short video talking about the bombarder. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I rig the bombarder uh, and a couple of different rigs that you can use to set up and hopefully achieve success, should you decide to use one. Now, <clears throat> this is what we're talking about. This is the big size, the 20 gram. Um, I predominantly use it for wet flies. That's pretty much what I use it for. A uh, big one like this I'll use in the sea with, with large wet flies. But as you've seen, fish in the river with wet flies as well. Um, but I also do use them for any unweighted lure. Uh, and the other thing that is of interest to some people I know because uh, I've had some uh, chit chat from a few people, you can also use the Bombarda for bait fishing. Uh, indeed, that's how it was first designed. So um, stick with me as always. Stay well hooked. Okay, well, here we are at the desktop, um, and I'll just go through the, um, the different sizes of Bombarda. Um, this is the largest that I use. Uh, this is a 20 gram. This is the Bombarda that, that I use from the beach when I'm casting very large saltwater flies. Uh, so if I'm fishing for hopefully tailor from the beach with large flies, this is the one. I never personally go larger than 20 gram. In fact, I haven't seen one larger than 20 gram. Um, you probably can't see this. I'll rotate it. Uh, might come out on the video. But um, the weight is usually embossed here at the top of the Bombarda. Now, there's a lot of junk out there, honestly. I've bought from many different suppliers, a lot of trial and error. There is a lot of junk out there. Um, but anything that's usable usually has the weight of the Bombarda here embossed. So that's a 20 gram. Uh, this one here now is a 15 gram. Again, the weight is on here. This is a, a sort of medium grade Bombarda. Both of these are. You can get very high grade Bombardas. I've got some high grade 20 gram. They are really beautiful. They're crystal clear. Uh, but frankly, they're a waste of money because they do exactly the same job as the, the mid range. The key here is to get the mid range. The, there's some rubbish at the very low end. Uh, they fall apart. You, the weights are way off. Um, anyway, so there you go. The next size down then is a 10 gram. This one here is a 10 gram, again, embossed on the top. You, you, you can't see it really. It's just, just almost molded in the weight. And this one is actually set up. Uh, and this is the one that I used, if anybody saw the video at Point Walter when I bagged out on herring, I honestly caught at least 30 that, that session. I was getting a fish, fish a cast at one point and I hooked a couple of tailors as well. So that was this weight, and that's a, a pretty good weight. And then we go right down to the six gram. Uh, six gram, nice weight actually for very light tackle and for, for smaller flies. And then we have this little chap here, which I really like. This is three grams. This is the smallest of the bombarders that I personally use. And the eagle-eyed will have noticed that it's missing the, um, the stem or what I call the drinking straw. So this is the range of bombardas that I use. Um, 20 gram, that's the monster for, for heavy work um, and usually in the sea. Uh, if, you, if I were pushed 
to limit to two sizes it would be the 15 gram which can cope with almost anything that the 20 gram uh, can cope with or the 10 gram the 10 gram is a really good all-rounder and, and works with medium weight and you can get away with light tackle um, so these are the two I'd go for 10 or 15 six grams handy to have and I, I use all of these so there we go so the next step then is really to talk about the rig that I use and then how to fish them okay then so there are two ways that I use to rig the bombarda and um, there are a few variations on the theme this one I hope you can see very simply have a fairly heavy piece of fluorocarbon passing through the center of the bombarda and just tie a swivel each end now there is some movement obviously from side to side but honestly that that little bit of movement does not affect the functionality of the bombarda now you can if you want to eliminate this movement and in the winter i sometimes pre-rig some um, you can fold your fluoro over and use a crimp uh, aluminium sleeve and crimp it uh, with the swivel here and that has the effect the crimp allows you to get much closer than you can by tying two knots and effectively that eliminates the um, the movement but really it makes no difference at all so i just tie them on like this this is the one that i used recently there's the braid braid goes straight to here um, and uh, so that's your main line and then your leader ties to here now the advantage of this and the big advantage is that you can pre-rig so what i tend to do um, here's a six gram you can see smallish one and i've a number of these pre-rigged fairly heavy fluorocarbon through the middle it doesn't matter what breaking strain you can go quite heavy actually because the fish don't see this bit this is part of the um of the main line effectively and then i've got in this case six pound fluorocarbon leader um almost two meters of leader this one quite a long one so that's the advantage really the main advantage you can pre-rig so if this is pre-rigged all i've got to do if i want to change out for example if i wanted to change from this to the six gram is uh just cut the braid then tie my main line to here put my fly on the end of the leader and um job's a good one that's it it's as simple as that so that's the the rig that i use almost all of the time uh, if i've got time to pre-rig and set up but there's another rig which is a lot simpler and and really is the one that i go to most of the time notwithstanding any that i've pre-rigged okay so the easiest setup and the one i use the vast majority of the time is simply this you thread your main line braid through the center of the bombarda like this pull it through uh, and if you feel so inclined you may wish to also thread on a bead you don't have to thread on the bead but um, we'll talk about that in a second okay so you tie your main line braid to your swivel and um, what you'll see is this arrangement here now the eagle eyed among you will have recognized straight away that this is identical to the setup for a running ledger and indeed that's what it is uh, it's incredibly effective now this is the rig you would use for bait fishing and in fact this was why the bombarda was originally developed now you don't have to put the bead on the bead acts as a bit of a shock absorber to be honest i hardly ever use a bead because the um 
the eye of the swivel will never pass through the diameter of the bombarda. But if you are nervous and you want that to act as a shock absorber, then go ahead and put a clear bead on. I've used a fluoro bead here just for illustrative purposes. Now, here's the way it works. If you're fishing bait right now, so you cast the bombarda out, um, the bait flips over, you allow it all to sink. It's hard up against the swivel and it sits on the bottom. Now, the advantage is these things are so light and they're round that they really do just sit on the bottom. They don't sink, not like a barrel swivel or, uh, or a, a heavy lead running ledger. Uh, and there are some advantages to this. The obvious one is that when the fish picks up the bait and goes off with it, there's no resistance at all. The line just runs through. Now I know with a running ledger, um, by definition, it's designed to run, but sometimes your weight will sink into soft mud or a, uh, or, or, um, or a, a debris on the bottom, and the fish will will sometimes feel resistance. But the other big advantage is if, if you're fishing with a tight line and a running ledger, so your main line here, running to your rod, here's your swivel here and the leader, imagine with the bait, Again, if the fish picks it up, even with a tight line, the bombarda will just raise off the bottom with hardly any resistance, uh, and the fish won't feel that, and bang, you'll be able to strike. Now, the other thing uh, to remember here is that if you're fishing this rig, you really can only fish this rig with bait uh, or with a weightless lure like a fly. Because when you cast, the bombarda will be hard up against the bead or the eye of the swivel. The leader will be down here and it will stay there. As soon as you put something weighted on the end, um, like a medium sized jig head or even a heavier bib lure, uh, when you cast, as often happens when you fish a running ledger with a heavy bait, it will tend to slide up the line mid flight and that can cause you a few problems. So if you're going to fish with a weighted lure, go with this rig, belt and braces, it can't move anywhere. But again, uh, the last time I was fishing at Point Walter, this is the setup I was using and I never had a problem. Occasionally, I'll be honest, you do get a little tangle, but I overcome that by using fairly heavy fluorocarbon, which is a bit stiffer on the leader. Okay, so those two rigs, the swivel at either end, or the line straight through to a swivel and then a leader, they can be used for any weight bombarder. Uh, this is the tiny three gram. Um, now this, I only use the straight through method for this one. It's a tiny, tiny bombarder, and you don't need all the extra weight of the swivels. And I use the smallest swivel I can get for this one. Uh, to be perfectly honest, this requires a fair degree of finesse and skill. You need to get proficient in using the bombarder before you go down to this size. But this size uh, I use for brim uh, with very small flies. Um, or an almost weightless soft plastic, ideal for that. But it does require a bit of finesse. You can effectively rule that out if you're first starting uh, and stick with something mid-sized like this. So that's really it in terms of the rigs that I use. You, you can go straight through to your main line with swivel and leader or make these up. It's as simple as that. Um, that's about it. Okay. So there we have it, um, the Bombarda. How to rig it, certainly the rigs that I use. And, uh, and I hope you've found that useful. Now, there are a couple of things to remember. One is we're talking about uh, a sinking Bombarda here. They're slow sinking. These are not floating Bombardas. I always use a sinking Bombarda. That's number one. And now the second point is you may well ask, why bother using one? Uh, and it's a pretty good question, but 
they allow a degree of finesse. They bring a degree of finesse to your fishing. You can fish light tackle, you can fish weightless lures such as flies. Now, I'm a very proficient fly fisher and much as I love fly fishing and the action with the fly rod, there are plenty of times when I can't use the fly rod, especially when, um, when I'm on the wee pocket rocket here. Um, if we get under bridges or around structure or any uh, growth, it can't use a fly rod. And uh, same if it's very, very windy, it can be challenging. Bombardo allows me to get a fly and cast with pinpoint accuracy almost under bridges, against the piles, uh, up against the bank. Don't have to worry about uh, any surrounding structure. So that's number one. The second, uh, the second point, and it's pretty important, is um, if you use if you use small, very light lures. Now this is um, some of you will recognise. I hope you can see it. This is a Daiwa double clutch. Very small size, very tiny, and very light to cast. Now, if I'm using three or four pound line, I can get away with this just about. But um, with the Bombarda, I can fish this uh, and get a better distance if I'm fishing open water. And the great thing about the Bombarda is when you retrieve it, it always rises in the water, which means that the action of um, a double clutch, for example, will continue the way it normally does. So there you go. Look, I hope you, you found this interesting um, and, and I hope you give the, uh, give the Bombarder a try. Um, as always, stay well hooked.